think I'm close. It's been an hour and a half trying to find it on county roads in the middle of nowhere. And um, I'm very close and it's raining. Oh, man. And I'm dressed like Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms. Uh, what I would imagine you would look like on a farm, but I'm sure it's not. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Arrived. And look at the time. That's the Air Force brat in me. My father trained me well. Good thing I left at 8 a.m. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, which direction do I go? Oh no, I don't know. The journey, the fork in the road. Which one will you take? At this time, I should take the one most traveled. I really don't know where I'm going. I hope I don't get stuck. It's kind of definitely muddy out here. Which way do I go? Okay, I don't know about this. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I guess if I have confidence, I'll be fine. I'm glad it's sort of stopped raining. Looking for the greenhouse in the back. I was right. The, the road is one big circle. And you can hear my uh, water bottles clanging in the back. Wow. It's pretty amazing that a farmer goes through all of this to bring us a piece of corn. the greenhouse. There he is, I think. Cool, look at the corn in the truck there. Oh no, those are cucumbers. Meet Francisco from KYV Farm. Yeah. So what is it called where you where you become a partner with the farmer? What's that called again? It's called Community Supported Agriculture. Community Supported Agriculture. So that's the new, that's where we're headed. And yeah. whose idea was that? Basically that was an idea from a lady in the Northeast called Robin, Robin Van Inn in 1986. She started with this. She brought it from Europe. And, you know, in the last five years, really has spread like wildfire. Because all the farmers are looking for some security in your crops. You know, the biggest problem as a farmer is that you're a big gambler. Nobody wants to say it, but there's a lot of risk involved in this. Uh, that's why you need to be on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. Basically, when I have a core group of members that have been with me since 2009, 2008. I start with 20 members, and out of the 20 members, maybe 15 are still with me. The other ones, I think, have moved out or other places. But that core group comes and help and, you know, give us a hand. And they are some ambassadors of what we do. You know, in this area of the Northeast, there is some small farms that are trying to get going, and there are some other farms that are conventional that grow one crop, and they are suffering too because when you grow one crop, you're at the mercy of the market, you know. But for us, the community is key. It's very, very important. Uh, there is a lot out there. We have. Uh, Society of uh, convenience. You know, do you do raw food? You know, it takes all prepping. It does. You know, it, it's not, it's not, it's not throwing this stuff there and go. You don't, you don't, 
a lot of my day. And if you do, and if you do good, good nutrition, you know you don't buy a tomato, a cucumber, and lettuce. You eat more than that. So, the people that are in the CSA understand that are receiving a crop on a harvest phase that can be sometimes like right now, just rain, and you know it can get a little dirty. That you have to help me with the washing because we rinse, but we don't we don't triple wash, you know, and nothing is ready to eat unless I eat How, straight from the dirt. Can I ask you that question? So I get I buy a bunch of produce or I get the box. Mm -hmm. What is the correct your your ideal way for me to wash it before I eat it? Is it just I've been spritzing it with hydrogen peroxide and apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. I heard a scientist say you just spritz it one after the other and it just knocks everything out. But if I'm buying it direct from the farmer, maybe I don't need to go that far. You need to wash all the time. You do? Yes, because even when we do most of the washing and all that, you know, it's never enough. Even myself, you know, we wash and, you know, my my carrots, we just scrub them, we don't peel them because they are very tender. Uh, on the on the other crops, my wife have a whole area on that and we do some seminars about what to do with the vegetables at the beginning of the season. Maybe I'll come make a YouTube and that. Yes. I'd love to. It can be done. Okay. And we do, you know, we do some events. We do some farm to table dinners. To keep that with sounds them. so fun! Yes. So farm to table dinner, what is that? Like, all of us that belong? Basically, we harvest and we give it to a chef and they cook Aww. for the membership. And people come and, you know, we sit on the table. And it's 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 been... Okay. And we bring you presents. <laughs> Some people bring, uh, we do a potluck. Yeah. You know, everybody, we, we exchange plates. Yeah. And we try everybody else's cooking, which is pretty fun. People love to do that. Or I could bring a raw dish. Yes, you can. An exciting one. Yes. So that, that's, that's the core main of this business. We found that, you know, it takes a committed, usually a family or a person that has some knowledge of uh, what they're eating and what they, you know, they want to eat better and don't have to pay pills or they don't want to do, yes. you know, they want to they wanna get their health starting with their diet and not the way around, the other way around, you know, you eat and then take a pill to try to fix your problems. Nice, nicely put. Yes, and you know. Yeah. We are like Plus a, you feel happier. I, I have never felt this happy than I went raw. like. All I do is take these enzymes and nutrients in from your soil because now I'm eating organic. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the soil thing is new that a lot of people think, well, if you just wash it, but you're actually getting more nutrients because you're putting, and, and, what are you putting in the soil? And, and, and your bacteria in your gut takes care of all of it. You know, the more bacteria you got in your gut, that the bacteria that helps you break through, you know, all your, all your uh, nutrients and all your food. You know, the stronger it is, the less you get sick. You know, that's why so many kids don't play in dirt anymore and don't do this and that. I love playing in the dirt. You know, they, what do you put in your dirt? What is the mineral? Ba basically, we do a lot of uh, cover cropping. What's that mean? Basically, when we finish the cucumber, we go after and we plant a set of crops that they're not going to be harvested. Basically, they're going to be plowing, till in, and they they are crops that tend to extract out of the soil or the air all the nutrients we need to grow. So you're going to put a, a, grow a crop just for the soil to just eat? For the soil just for the eat. soil to eat? Yes. So you're feeding, you're feeding the soil more produce? That's right. So we, it's a compound? Yeah. Compounds? No, it, it, it's like a compost, but, but it's a, more elaborate. Because a compost takes a lot of energy. Yeah. You have to bring the crop. You have to you have to work it and then you have to apply it. Yes. So if I grow the crop in the in the row where I'm gonna grow, yeah. you know, it saves me a lot of And then you're gonna plow steps. it with the plow and it goes back into it and yes. then you put the new seeds of a brand new different crop in there. Yes. Now that must be an art. It's a rotation scene, yeah. And there are different crops for different purposes. And there mm -hmm. are, you know, different uh, times where you can apply this crop is like you know, between this crop. So, how did you get into becoming a farmer? So, I came here from Puerto Rico and I started doing roofing. 
because that's what I used to do in Puerto Rico. Huh? But I come from a family of dairy farmers. Oh. And I was trying to have a little farm, and I moved here in 06. So in 06, everything was good. By 07, 08, you know, the cookies start to crumble, and I had to step up. My garden becomes my farm. Oh. And in 2010, I quit my day job. And I've been doing this full time since uh, February of 2010. So it's been five years. Plus. Do you lease the land uh, yes. from, the, from the state of Florida? No, or? this is a private owner. And we are. That loves farming? Or that loves she farming? is a farmer. She used to be a farmer, but she retired. And right now, we are in the process of trying to buy this place. But as you know, we're in, in a, very, it's a very expensive area. We're near St. Augustine. Are we in St. Augustine? We're in St. Augustine. Yes, near the Waffle Village. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah